Welcome to BanjoBenClark.com. I am Banjo Ben, your host here on the website to teach you how to play guitar. Banjo, this week is Mandolin Week. We're wrapping up a three-week series on uh, Bury Me Beneath the Willow. I had asked folks on my Facebook page what key I wanted to do it in. There was a bunch of people that said C and a bunch of people said G. So I said, okay, let's just do it in both. So we're going to learn two solos in C, then we're going to modulate, go to the key of G, and we've got a different, you know, uh, difficulties on these solos. We have a very basic melody solos. We also get outside the lines a little bit and challenge you. If you're watching this on Facebook or YouTube here in a moment, I'll ask you to come over to the website, BanjoBenClark.com. You can join as a Gold Pick member. See this lesson as well as hundreds of others for banjo, mandolin, and guitar. You can watch this video lesson as well as download the tabs in the MP3s. Um, I have three different speeds of rhythm tracks that you can grab for this one. So I'm ready for you to learn. Are you ready to learn? Let's check it out. Bury Me Beneath the Willow. Let's learn some solos for Bury Me Beneath the Willow on the mandolin. We've got a couple solos in C and then we're going to modulate and go to the key of G. And the first solo in each one of these keys is going to be a very basic melody. We're just going to present that melody on a platter for the folks that are listening. And then the second solo uh, for key of C and for key of G, we're going to beef it up a little bit, especially when we get to uh, G, we're going to get outside the lines a little bit, do some fun, fun licks up the neck. Let's go ahead and throw up the first line of tab here. We'll uh, look first at the first solo in the key of C. You'll notice that uh, we're in 4-4 four, four times, so four beats per measure. And then I have those little black arrows beneath each one of the notes. Those are your suggested pick direction. So a down arrow is a down stroke, up arrow will be up stroke. Now when we play this very basic melody, and by the way, if you don't know this melody, go check out some versions on YouTube, get that in your head. Um, but this melody, you know, happens fairly slowly. Bury me So, you know, we could play just that basic melody, as I did, but we want to fill in some of the gaps. And the way that we're going to do that is whenever the melody notes are getting held out, bury me beneath, we're going to fill that up with some eighth notes. Now let's look at how we do that. We're going to walk in and measure one, starting on beat three. That's not part of the melody, that's just walking in. And then the melody starts there, measure two, bury me. Let's fill that in with some notes. Bury me beneath. We get to measure four. That that neath, uh, the the syllable neath, uh, takes up that whole measure. So we're gonna play a quarter note and then fill it in with eight notes. Willow. Then we're just gonna walk down with quarter notes there. Measure five. Let me play measures one through five. We'll play it much slower later on. simple right we're it's staying interesting to me I mean I, I I think it sounds good it's not too boring but we're also just presenting that straight ahead melody let's look at measure six so again the melody is just um, flowing along and we're going to fill that in with some eighth notes you know this is something that you can do with any song that you have out there and there's no specific rhyme or uh, reason or pattern um, you could play it all eighth notes if you wanted that would get a little old, wouldn't it? So I try to stagger. I try to play a quarter note and then a couple eighth notes. 
And then maybe several eighth notes in a row, like as we see here, measure seven. Okay, so I play a quarter note there and then four eighth notes, and then another quarter note. I could have done um, quarter note, eighth notes, quarter note, eighth notes. You know, it's up to you. And then as we get to measure eight, that melody note is going to hang out for uh, two whole measures. So I have measure eight and nine um, to play kind of whatever lick I want to play, where I'm just going to play a very basic melodic lick there. So we play a quarter note measure eight, and then just work around the scale a little bit. And then we're going to walk back in measure nine into uh, the melody again, okay? And this time the melody, we're still going to present it very basically. Uh, if you want to compare measure 10 to measure two, you'll see the melody. But I also add a note. What am I doing here? I'm adding a harmony note on top. So we're, we're over a C chord. So I'm going to, here's my melody note, that fifth fret. I'm going to grab a C note above it, the third fret of the A string, and play along with it. Just to make it a little bit more interesting, grab a harmony note. If you don't know how to do that, you need to watch my lesson on creating harmonies with double stops, and you'll see how we do that. And we'll get to, well, let me play in 6 through 11, or 10 for you. Remember, I play it much slower later on in the lesson when we get to...